this contest be not over. <laughs> So easy to defeat a sin. Hello everyone, Brickfix Series here, back with my first ever showcase of a custom minifigure. Today we'll be looking at the infamous Jedi Killer and Bounty Hunter, Saj Ventress. Um so a quick backstory, Saj Ventress, this version anyway, first appeared in the 2003 Clone Wars TV show slash movie which was premiered on Cartoon Network and this is what she's mainly based off in it we saw her rise and her fall but at the end of it she didn't really die she later appeared in the comics this is what she's mainly based off for me anyway because I have pupils for her eyes but yeah this one's based off the comics not the TV show but she is very very similar to the TV show um, no, she's not like the Clone Wars, like the 2009 one. That's... I think she's overrated in the Clone Wars. I don't like the look of her, even though I do own two of the actual official minifigures. Um, I don't own the... or well, don't currently own the old 2003 um, Massage Ventress, which came out in 2015, I believe. Um... But this one's my own mock and it incorporates a few, or my own version, and incorporates a few little details that I want to share with you guys. Um, so I'll get right into it. Starting up, she's obviously dual wielding two red bladed lightsabers, I guess. Um, at the start, she had, um, ooh, she had one green and she had one blue, and I believe one was her originals and one was her masters. Because just like in the Disney version of uh, Clone Wars, um, her master was killed by pirates, and then she won a slaughter slaughtering rampage. She took over her world, I believe. She became a well-known crime lord, kind of. Um, and later on, she became a bounty hunter. And then she eventually died at the hands of Count Dooku, but that's another story for another time. So that's a bit of a backstory anyway. But this one, she has her red lightsabers, as you can see. Yes? No? Better. Um, so, I didn't really mod them at all. I just gave her black hilts, but they're upside down. And they, she has um, red lightsaber blades, so pretty standard. Um, I'm just gonna quickly do a 360 rotation. I didn't give her any um, back painting because I couldn't find any images of what she looked like on the back, so I kind of skipped out on that. Um, her little, was it a waist cape, um, a dress, skirt, skirt, um, her little skirt that's around her, or pretty long, I guess. That one's not actually a cloth. It's not very easy to see what it even is. It's actually my own version of it with paper. And I painted which, with the paint I usually use for um, my customs. Uh, I used Revel paint, which is a modeling, yeah, modeling paint that is acrylic. It's, non, it's not um, a water base, which most customizers use. Um, I use them for all of my figures, and in my opinion, they would turn out pretty well. Um, I have a few quick examples. I have to do reviews of these as well. Um, at my Galactic Marine, they came out pretty nice. I use the gloss. I don't use anything else really. I have my clone pilot matchstick. It's not focusing. Um, actually, here got my photo from the exact same TV show. I guess. And some other ones that are not with me right now. But as you can see, I guess she's painted. Um, the face looks slightly weird 
and probably will to some people. I don't have a problem with the face. Personally, this is a great achievement for me because I'm terrible at painting faces. I think I got her a little bit better than I would normally do. And by the way, guys, make sure you comment down below. Do you prefer her with pupils or without? Because I'm not too sure which one. But because, like... It looks funny, kind of, because it's not accurate to the comics, but it's accurate to the Clone Wars, and I think it looks okay. But besides that, um, again, the cloth is made out of, like, of course, paper. See, the, there we go, kind of shiny. And I use Revel paint to paint over it. And I made my kind of own cape. It's really easy, you just need a hole puncher and some paper and a pen and you kind of just trace out the shape you know of like the bottom of the leg or the feet even and you kind of just go from there and you experiment and this one's kind of folding over so it's not too bad um i have done custom capes before but they didn't turn out as well as this um i didn't put anything on her because the reference image i used didn't have like any designs or anything uh, she does have a few creases at the back here. I gave her like little kind of marking right there. Um, on the arms, she has a bit of white paint. Uh, hold on, I'll try and zoom in. Yeah, um, which I kind of dabbed my finger on to kind of give um almost like a kind of felty um, but kind of like a porcelain. No, porcelain's the right word. Um, I'm not too sure what I would describe it, but a certain kind of material look to it. I think it turned out okay. I did the same for the torso as well and the other arm. Um, the black that you see here is just normal black arms. I actually used black arms, which is a terrible mistake, so I shouldn't make that again. I should have used white arms. I should have used a white body, but instead I just went with the other one. Anyway, uh, she has plain black legs underneath as well. Um... Her body um, was actually kind of interesting. I'm going to take her lightsabers away and just show you to my current viewers that actually watch my videos my custom female torso. So I have seen online these like custom female torsos that you can like buy for really expensive and they're just literally minifigure bodies but like with a kind of a curve i'm not a sucker so i don't buy that stuff i customize it in my own way so um i use these little filers here i kind of went in and out over the side of them and it worked out pretty well so we have like these nice curves on see we have these kind of like nice hips female looking hips which work really well because Asajj Ventress is very thin in the cartoon and she's slightly thin in the reference image. Um, there was printing on the back of here so I just sanded it off. It actually doesn't look too bad using sandpaper. Oh yeah, and I sanded, I, uh, I sanded little corners. I don't know if you can see that. It's not very clear but I sanded the corners down slightly. So just give it an overall look. Um... Up at the torso, we have her little red thing that's on her belt. Um, it's really hot, and this isn't zooming in at all. Hold on. Hold on, guys, I have to cut the camera. Well, guys, I just figured out I can't really do it, but still. Um, so the torso has kind of the same look looking texture as her arms, as I use in the reference photo. Just a little collar at the top, which I use. Since I use a black torso, I just put a little, like, few lines, kind of make that look like her little lines are on her collar. Didn't really work out. It's not very straight. Um, actually, you can kind of see um, the little belt, how it kind of curves up in the light. But anyway, I have her um, breast markings. Probably some of you are going to laugh at that comment. But um, I also have her um, little neck. 
I put a uh, black paint around her neck, which I did with some of my clones. So I could kind of keep their faces, but um, also give them an accurate neck. Um, so yeah, black neck. I did a pretty jo good job on that. Um, now the face. Um, I said I, yeah, I said I did the face. Okay. And to be honest, I kind of did, from my from my point of understanding. Um, again, comment if you if you would prefer pupils or just white eyes because why she looks creepy and people just looks kind of weird so i'm not too sure i got the eyebrows in there it's not too bad um it's a side by side comparison of the actual clomers i'm not that experienced with faces yet so i can't really do them that well but they have these like little curved eyes which actually match pretty well um i got the lips in the okay shape i'm not good at doing like really super detailed but that's for the most part the best to my ability and that's usually what most people would say matters but anyway guys i'm probably gonna finish it up here um i'm probably gonna put the, a picture of her on my instagram uh, follow me at brickfix studios on instagram i want 100 what followers and make sure to subscribe like and comment down below what was your favourite part of Asajj Ventress? And if you liked the cape or like um, the curved um, the curvature of her hips. Because um, I will do a tutorial if you want me to. Just comment down below. And I'll see you guys later. See ya.